Hello everyone, welcome to Body Electric. I'm Margaret Richard and along with Heidi, we are going to have a really good workout, but you need to have your weights because uh, you need the intensity, you need the challenge. Today we're going to work the deltoids, the shoulder area, the back, the calves, the inner thighs, and the abdominal area. And for today's workout, uh, you'll need something on the floor, a mat, a towel, something like that, and uh, a few sets of weights, possibly your ankle weights. And, um, well, just bring all your enthusiasm and your desire to be healthy, fit, and strong. So with that said, let's warm up, work out, and get strong. So sitting tall in your chair, Shoulders down, take a deep breath. Reach to one side. Other side. Now let's reach across the body. One arm. Almost touching the shoulder. And change. One more. And up. And down. Now let's bring the arms in a big arc, both arms together. And down. Okay, straighten the leg, pull the toe up toward the shin. And change. Pull it hard, you want to lengthen the calf muscle. Let's take it down with a flat back, but only to uh, kind of knee height. And then arch up and flatten. Let's do that a few more times. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see the movement down and arch. One more time. And up. Look to the side. And side. Now bring the head down in a kind of a semicircle. One more time. And the arms up and down. Hold the arms out, shoulders up and down. Arms front, same thing. And side. Shoulders up and down. And front. And reach. Once more each side. Up in the back and up in the chest. Shoulders down. Press the shoulders down. Are you ready? I think so. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, we're going to work the deltoids. So start a little heavier, say maybe five pounds or eight pounds, you know, wherever your fitness level dictates. And then we'll be prepared to possibly go a little lighter as we become fatigued. If the form goes, you know, you have to lighten up. We'll start with these fives. The elbows are at your side, and you reach out in a V and pull it in. Now right away, release a few fingers so that you're just letting the weights kind of 
fall between your thumb and your and your palm. Pull it down. Push it out in a V. Now try not to let the hands roll to the back. Keep the hands and the wrists straight. Down on one. Two, three, and four. the shoulders. That's your anchor. You keep the shoulders pressed down. Slowly down. One, two, three, and four. To get behind the sun and cast his ways. All I need is a place to find. And there are some One more. Bring it down and up. Breathe out as you lift. Okay, now let's go a little lighter with the weights. I hope I'm not disappointing Heidi. <laughs> Elbows out for two and together. It's good to work the muscles different kind of different exercises different angles so you get the muscle formed get a nice round muscle and just with the wrist over the elbow up and down small movement press the shoulders kind of stay in the contraction and work it fingers are relaxed abdomen is in and the same thing, but with the elbows in front of the shoulders. I think we went heavier with the weights instead of lighter. And the, the key here is to keep the form correct all the time. Don't give in to the fatigue. And down. And once all the way up. And down. And same thing with the palms up. And the elbows, and once more up. Turn the palms over and bring the arms down. Okay, and stretch. That was good. I like that. Okay, stretch long through the neck. Open the chest and open the back. Okay, now we're going to, we've worked into the back a little, but we're going to work even more. So let's take the, the light weights again, the three cam weights. All right, so we're going to focus on the back and kind of pulling the shoulder blades in toward each other. Bring it back and up. We're working slowly and trying to get a full range of motion. Bringing the elbows just about shoulder height. I know you can feel this in your shoulders, but we're primarily working the back. You believe me? <laughs> okay, to the front. Take it down and under the chin. And you can do the standing if that's more comfortable for you. Under the chin, lift the elbows in and down. Under the chin, lift the elbows. Up and back. Lift and squeeze to the front. Now we're going to bring the body down. 
lift the arms. Full range of motion, up. Relax the head. Keep going, just a few more. Lift the arms as high as you can, squeezing the shoulder blades together. The rib cage is kind of down on the legs. The neck is relaxed. Let's stay at the top. Four, three, two, one, and come up and bring the elbows behind the body for four, three, two, one. And now under the chin and press for four, three, two, one. And one last time for the back. Four, three, two, and one glorious one. And let's lean over and stretch, kind of separate the shoulder blades. Heidi, how would you like your eggs? <laughs> I thought maybe one of, I thought maybe she was like fell asleep over there. <laughs> okay, we're going to we're going to work the calves, and here's the here's the deal. Let's put a well. Actually, we're going to keep these to put on our knees. Let's put a set of weights on the. Let's put the larger weights on the floor only because it's going to give us a, a fuller range of motion. We're putting our weights on the, oh, hi, how are you? We're putting our weights on the floor because we don't want them to skate, to slip. So, and then we'll put a set of weights over the knees to add resistance, shoulders down. So we're going to lift the heels, working the calves, and down. So obviously we're trying to replicate a step. Lift and down. Are you just feeling kind of wobbly? A little. Let's hold the heel up, up, and up. For four, three, two. Let's go ahead and take our feet off the weights and just do it on the floor, up and down. 